Ahoy hoy brothers, Avi here. Today I'm going to talk about the squid-like cephalopods that once lived in the Sundance Sea in what is now Devil's Tower, Wyoming. Today, the familiar, yet bizarre, Bellum Knights. Let's start with a location, northeastern Wyoming, in what is now Devil's Tower National Park. But it wasn't always. Even the signature tower of the park was once simply not. Today, we're going to look at a time before all that, in the mid to late Jurassic, around 163 to 145 million years ago. At that time, where I now stand, in northeastern Wyoming, was covered by an inland sea known as the Sundance Sea. This sea was, quote, an epiric sea, meaning a shallow sea that extends far into the interior of a continent. It existed in North America during the mid to late Jurassic period of the Mesozoic era. It was an arm of what is now the Arctic Ocean and extended through what would later be Western Canada into the central western United States. The sea later receded when the highlands to the west began to rise. And in the sea lived many things. But today, we are going to talk about the Bellumites. So what are Bellumnites? Bellumnites are a genus of an extinct group of cephalopods in the order Bellumnidida, defined by, quote, squid-like cephalopods that existed from the late Triassic to the late Cretaceous. As mentioned before, they are familiar in that they resemble squids, but in other aspects, they are truly bizarre. For example, unlike the modern squid, Loligoforbici, they have a hard internal skeleton, which, in the tail of the organism, forms a protuberance known as a, quote, rostrum plural rostra. Composed of fibrous calcite crystals at right angles to the surface, the rostrum resembles layers of rings, and it is suspected that the rings probably acted like the rings of a tree trunk, with the inner newer layers being lighter because they are pure calcite, and the outer older layers being darker because they have been discolored by organic matter. It is also suspected that these rings mark time, specifically in months. Finally, the rostrum as a whole likely acted as a counterbalance to the head and tentacles, or arms, during swimming. As you can see, these bellum knights living over a span of about 130 million years are both familiar and bizarre, ordinary, and unique. But at least I hope you can agree that they are worth learning about. But by the way, they're also the state fossil of Delaware, so do with that what you will. Thank you so much for watching Paleontology Across the U.S. If you want to learn more about what we talked about today, see the sources in the description. I don't know.